Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today I will show you how to configure Jenkins to build and deploy to Tomcat. So in this tutorial, I will be building one Spring Boot web application project which I have kept in GitHub repository and we will pull that project, build that through Maven build in Jenkins and after that from Jenkins, we will push the deployable which is the word file to Tomcat and we will check whether the application is up and running. For this tutorial, you need two things as prerequisite, mostly two things, Jenkins installation and Tomcat installation. So if you want to know how to install Jenkins and Tomcat in virtual machine, please check my earlier videos. And a web app project in GitHub, you can use my web app project, which I will demonstrate in this tutorial. Here is the GitHub repository where you can use this Spring Boot web application for your practice purpose. The link is github.com slash AWS tech guide slash spring hyphen web app. And as you see, I have this spring boot application and I will be building this application through Jenkins and will push the word file to Tomcat. I have created two virtual machines in Google cloud platform. As you see, my Jenkins system is running and Tomcat system is also running. So let's log in to my Tomcat system. I'm using SSH and just opening in browser window. Now I am logged into my Tomcat system, just changing the user to sudo. Browsing to the Tomcat installation. Here I have installed my Tomcat. Let's check the process, whether it is running or not. Yes, my Tomcat is running. So let's copy the Tomcat URL, the external IP, I'm copying it, opening a new tab, 8080, and my Tomcat 8.5 is up and running, as you see. Next, let's go to Jenkins server. So my Jenkins server external IP is this. I have copied, let's open my Jenkins. Okay, I'm logging in. I'm logged into my Jenkins. Here is my Jenkins dashboard. As you have seen that I have one code build job already existing. If you have seen my earlier videos, you know that how, how I have created this Maven code build job. In this tutorial, we will be creating one job to build and then deploy. So let's click on new item, give a name of the job. I'm selecting it as Maven project. It is a good practice to give a description. This job is to build and deploy in Tomcat. Scroll down. In source code management, I'm selecting git and we have to provide the repository URL. So I'm going to this git repository, copying this URL. It is a public repository. So you can also use the same repository URL for your practice purpose. Or you can check the code as well and see how I have developed this Spring Boot web application. And if you want to know every steps of how I developed this Spring Boot web application, then please check my other videos in this AWS Tech Guide channel. I will mention the video URL in the description box below. So as I said, it is a public repository. I do not need to mention the credential over here. Scroll down and I am, I will be considering the master branch only. Now here at build, give the goal and option, which is package.
Now on the post build action, add post build action. Here you should get one option called deploy word and year to container. But currently we are not getting this. So the reason is that we don't have the required plugin install. So at this moment, I am just saving this job. So till now, if I run this job, it will just build our web application. So give a try. Let's see how it is building. So I'm just clicking on build now. It has started build. Build number one. Click on console output and you see it is building. Perfect. It has successfully completed the build. And as you see that within target folder, we have a web app test dot work. Now where you will get that this web app test dot work has been created. Let's go to the job. Click on this workspace. And here you see this target folder. And within this target folder, you get web app test dot work file. Well, so now let's go and install the plugin we need to deploy to Tomcat. So click on manage Jenkins. Click on manage plugin. Click on available tag. Search deploy. and search by deploy and you will find if you just scroll down you will find this deploy to container this plugin allows you to deploy a word to a container after a successful build so I'm just clicking it click install without restart it is installing now It has successfully installed. So go to our Jenkins dashboard. Go to the job we have created. Go to configure. Scroll down to post build action. And now we see this option deploy war or year to a container. Select that option. Once we have selected, it's asking as the word or year files context path. Well, so let's find the word file, which we know that it has just built. So I am just opening it in a new tab and going to the build console output. So I can just copy the word file name basically. So it is my word file name target dot work going back to my job configuration it is the target dot work and the context path is actually the name of your word file just add this now we have to add the container which container we are going to use since i have installed apache tomcat 8.5 so i will be selecting the container for the same version 8.x remote now it is asking tomcat url as well as credential so first let's copy tomcat url so it is our tomcat url i'm just copying it tomcat url and we have to mention the credential credential why we need this credential because once Jen King will try to push this web app test dot word to the, our this tomcat 8.5 server it will need the credential the user id and password so let's click on before adding this credential let me show you where you get this credential basically i'm just opening my tomcat here is my tomcat prompt so and let me clear the screen 
I'm inside Tomcat installation. So here we have config directory. So I'm just going, I'm just browsing inside config. And in this config, you see there is a file called tomcat users.xml. So I'm clearing the screen again and I'm opening tomcat users xml let's open it as i open this file you see that we have one role which is manager hyphen script this is the role required for deploying your word or year file into tomcat container and this role is mapped with this username deployer and password is also the deployer so our username and password will be deployer and deployer. So let's go to our Jenkins and add Jenkins. Keep this option of kind as username with password. Add username that is deployer. Password as deployer. This is the default user ID and password, but it is very much recommended that you should change this user ID and password. Just add one ID because it will help you to identify which user ID and password or the credential you should be using. So I'm just adding here as Tomcat and description is also Tomcat. So I'm clicking on add and select the Tomcat credential from here. And saving this thing well now we have done our configuration let's go to the bit configuration once again and just revisiting we have our git configured from this git url we have our build configured which is package the goal mentioned and next we have created one post build action after successful build, Jenkins will take web app test dot word from target directory and will deploy it in the Tomcat system mentioned over here. So I'm just going back again and now click on build now. Build has started. Click on the build number, go to console output. It's showing build has failed for this particular reason. Let's see how it is. So it's showing step deploy word or year to a container aborted due to exception. What is the exception? Expecting and or GLO pattern, but saw target web app work. Well, let's go back to our build configuration click on configure scroll down remove this front slash save the build configuration and give a try build now go to console output and it, it's showing that it has successfully completed the build. So it means that it was able to successfully deploy in Tomcat. So let's go to our Tomcat portal. Our Tomcat is up and running. What was our context path? Let's go to our build configuration. The context path we created, it was web app text so 8080 slash web app test and now we have one url mapping here so it is home we have a get url mapping here so i'm just clicking over here and our web application is up and running as you see the page has come so it means that it is successfully deployed and click here for our online tutorials. If you want to know more about this, see 
the link also successfully diverted over here. So I'm just going back and just refreshing over here. Perfect. So it has successfully deployed. I'm going back to Jenkins configuration again and giving you a quick recap what we did. We have created one deploy to Tomcat Maven job and added the repository as git repository which is our public repository and you can use this public repository for your practice purpose as well. Next thing we mentioned the build goal as package because it is as per your POM configuration and the most important thing for this tutorial we are focused on deploying this word after build to Tomcat container. So we have installed deploy to word plugin. Then we created this post build action. We have mentioned word or year files over here that is target slash web app test dot work. The first time we got error because we had a front slash over here. So front, front slash should not be over here. Context path is basically the name of the word. We added the container of Tomcat 8.x remote because we created the Tomcat server for 8.5. Added our credential for Tomcat deployment, then added our Tomcat URL over here and we started our job. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any query, please write in the comment box below. I'll, I'll be happy to help you. See you in our next tutorial. In our next tutorial, I will show you on this architecture how to use Ansible as continuous deployment tool. See you in our next session. Thank you. Yeah.